friends, my name is Miss Tina. What's your name? Hi! I am so glad that we get to do church together every week. Well, friends, this month, I am going to be asking you a very important question, and I want to teach you the answer to it right now. It goes like this. Who can you thank for everything? And the answer is, I can thank God for everything. Do you want to try that with me? Here we go. Who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Nice job, my friends. This is a perfect thing to talk about this month because in the month of November, we celebrate the holiday Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving is all about saying thank you to God for everything. Well, my little friends, before we get into our Bible story, you know what it's time to do. It's time to say thank you to God by moving our bodies as we dance and sing and praise and worship. So get up on your feet and we're going to get started in just 10 seconds. I wanna 
gonna jump and dance I'm gonna shout and sing Thank you God for everything I wanna clap my hands I wanna jump and dance I'm gonna shout and sing Thank you God for everything Thank you, thank you, thank you God For everything you've done for me I just wanna shout and sing Thank you, thank you, thank you God For everything you've done for me I just wanna shout and sing Oh, 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 thank you feast. So my mom and I picked a bunch of food from the garden to cook. I can't wait to show you. These are zucchini. I know they have a funny name, but they taste super yummy in my mom's zucchini bread. This smells so good. Oh, and we dug these potatoes out of the dirt. They make the best thing ever. Mashed potatoes, mm, mm good. What else do we have? Oh yeah, a pumpkin. Hmm, what can we do with this? Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who, who? Cooking up a feast, are you? We sure are. We're going to turn these veggies into the yummiest food ever. Eating good food is great. It's true. I have a story about a different meal for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. finished your breakfast? It must have been so good. <laughs> oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. She just finished her delicious breakfast and she is so thankful for it. That reminds me of a story. Do you want to hear it? Okay, well today's true story from the Bible starts in a desert. Have you ever been to a desert? This one is hot and sandy and sweaty. Oh look, it's the Israelites. They are God's people, but do they look happy? No, they look hot and sweaty and hungry. So God told them, I will give you food and when you wake up, you can eat it. That night, while everyone was sleeping, God covered the ground with bread. Have you ever heard of something so amazing? God gave the people all the food they needed. And when the people woke up, they were so excited. God gave us food today. Yay, thank you, God. They were so thankful. But then everyone say, uh-oh. Ready? 
Uh oh. Look at their faces. Do they look happy to you? No. Do they look thankful? No. The Israelites were worried that God wouldn't give them food again the next day. They went to bed worried. But when they woke up, there was bread on the ground again. Yay! God gave us food today. Thank you, God. They said. Surely they'll stay thankful now, right? Uh oh! Not again. They worried until they went to bed. But every morning they woke up to more bread. Day after day this happened, over and over, until finally the Israelites stopped worrying. They knew that they could trust God to give them what they needed each day, and they were thankful. But what about us? Can God give us what we need each day? <laughs> yes, so we can be thankful. Thankful when it's pizza day, or rice day, or Taco Tuesday, because we can thank God for everything. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there is your story, and it's all true. God gave the Israelites food, and He can give us what we need too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! God gave the Israelites the food they needed, and He can give us what we need too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I'm so thankful for all this food, and can't wait to cook it for everyone. I know. Pumpkin pie. I'll see you next time. Bye. Boys and girls, wasn't that a wonderful true Bible story? We can say thank you to God for everything. Let's try that question one more time. Who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's right. Friends, we have the perfect memory verse this month to talk about being thankful to God. I'm going to say it for you once, and then after that, I'll teach it to you, and we can try it all together. It goes like this. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. Psalm 111.1. Are you ready to try it with me? The first thing I want you to do is give me two thumbs up and point to yourself. And we're going to say, I will give thanks. Try that. I will give thanks. Then I want you to point up and say, to the Lord. Try that with me, friends. To the Lord. Then put your hands over your heart and say, with all my heart. Try that. With all my heart. Then show me your Bible and say, Psalm. Psalm. Then I want you to put up your number one. That's this finger here. Put up your number one and we're going to say a whole bunch of ones in a row. It goes like this. One, eleven, one. Try that, friends. One, eleven, one. Great job, everybody. Are you ready to try the whole thing? Remember, start with your two thumbs up as you point to yourself. Here we go. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. Psalm 111. One. Nice job, boys and girls. We will be saying that memory verse all month long as we say thank you to God with all our hearts. Friends, do you know one of my favorite ways to say thank you to God? It's by praying. And our special prayer that we do every single week is a perfect way to say thank you to God. So will you pray with me? Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes, and you can repeat after me. 
dear God, thank you for making me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for sending Jesus to be my friend forever. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. I'm so glad that we get to do church together every week, and I can't wait to see you back here next week. I love you, boys and girls. Bye.